I am Don Singletary and welcome to the Micro E-mini day trading channel. So what's the big deal with the Micro E-minis? Why are they trading 800 million futures contracts in their first two years setting all-time records on new products introduced? The reason is because it's such a game changer for the small to medium investor, people who have a little money and they want to try to turn it into a lot of money. Now there's a catch. Day trading the micro e-minis is risky. It's not for your college funds or IRA accounts, not this particular kind of trading. But it is a chance to take a little bit of money and make a lot. And today we're going to be talking about exactly how they work and why you should consider trading them. There's a reason why only professional investors and wealthy investors traded these equity stock index futures at least up until two years ago. Because you had to trade for about $50 a point. You could bury hundreds of dollars in only 30 seconds to 2 minutes to 5 minutes. And that's terrifying for somebody who's never traded futures before. That's easy to understand. Well, now there's a smart way to learn to trade futures that came about only in May of 2019 when the Chicago Merck introduced the same equity stock index futures but in smaller one-tenth size contracts. So as you can see on the chart on your thing, you can trade the, the DJIA for only 50 cents a point, the S&P and the Russell 2000, $5 a point, and that NASDAQ 100, your tech stocks, for only $2 a point. Now this, why would anyone learn to trade at $50 a point when they can use these micro e-minis? It's the smart way to learn. Now here's what you're going to get in today's uh, video. We're going to do the live trade. We got uh, 9,000 subscribers. You can subscribe to the channel. We have two playlists for beginners. Uh, you get those free also. And all of the uh, 80 plus videos is no charge at all. Also, uh, and you'll like this because you won't have to risk a penny or spend a penny. I'm going to uh, show you the trade simulator. You can get it free. It's from the Chicago Merck. There's no ads on there. No credit cards required. You can be up and running in about five minutes. And after you've seen the beginner's playlist here on the channel, which is free, you can try your hand at it and see if it's for you. And I strongly suggest you do that before you spend a penny or risk a dollar any way at all. My favorite part of the videos, I hope you'll subscribe. We put up a, a new live trade almost every week here and sometimes more. This is the Tastyworks Click It, See It, Trade It screen. I recommend it because it's easy. If you're new to the channel, this is the screen you're going to see in every video. I don't change things around every two or three minutes. It's extremely hard for people to learn. Uh, when you do that. So what I do is I use a consistent setup. I have the MACD in the bottom pane and the uh, micro e-mini I'm trading in the top pane. Over on the left above the Tastyworks logo, you see I have the four micro e-minis in my watch list. Now let's get going on today's trade. I think you're going to like this one. As is my habit here on the channel, each time I present a live trade, before I go to the live screen, I have a still shot up now, I'm going to show you exactly how and why I picked this particular trade at this particular time. It's 9.30 Eastern Time, the market opens and shoots right up for the first 10 minutes or so. And remember, each candlestick is 5 minutes wide. Then it turns around and comes back down to the same price uh, it opened at. And I always try and avoid this volatility. It happens almost every day in the first five or 10 minutes. And uh, for the next 15, 20 minutes, you can see each candlestick five minutes wide. The market kind of settles down and then resumes its downward trend. And uh, that's what I'm counting on with this trade. But there's more. I have to check with my trade signal indicator. So I look down at the bottom pane and I see, we know the market, uh, it's only been open half an hour. There's no major trend, but it looks like things are going down. And when I see right here in the red circle, the green line going below the red line, even though they're above the zero line, there's no major trend for the day. So I decide to short a contract right there. Okay, now we're on the live active trade screen. I have not yet entered the order. That's what I'm about to do. I can click the uh, bid or ask price.
price on the screen and the program takes me uh, to the trade panel. And from the trade panel, I go down and select um, a bracket order. And I know I'm going to short the contract. Now, you see, what happens is oh, I move my bracket order over on the left and I have my chart screen on the right so I can see everything now on one page. I decide I want to put an entry order in, uh, in the uh, order entry starting point at 2302. I go up to the stop loss and put in 2309, which uh, it calculates automatically for me. That would be a $35 stop loss up there. Now close at profit, that's kind of like a Christmas list. You can put anything you want to in there. I just happened to put 2275, which would be a $135 profit. But I have no particular reason to do that. I can't tell what's going to happen. And so um, I study my order here again, and I look and I say, well, I think I could put my stop a little closer to the trade price. So I move it down to 2308. That would be a $30 stop loss. And uh, then I think again, because I'm always thinking of ways to reduce the risk on a trade. So I put it at 2306, a $20 stop loss order is what I decide on. And uh, I'm hoping this downtrend continues here. And uh, now we're on the live uh, trade screen here. And you see with the Tasty Works, I can just take the mouse and bring my stop order down yet again. I'm obsessed with keeping my risk reduced to the lowest amount possible on each and every trade I do. I don't worry about the money. That'll take care of itself, as you'll see. But I um, move it down uh, and actually moved it up this time. Sometimes you got to give that trade room to breathe there. And then I change my mind again, which fortunately is easy for you to do. And I move the stop now down to around uh, 2304.40. And uh, I think that's going to be manageable. And everything seems to be going fine in the trade. We're trading uh, 2300. So we're up basically a couple of points, 10 bucks or so. And it's a good start to the trade. Remember, we're trading small so we can learn to scale up later, and we're trying to control our risk. Two minutes into the trade now, 10.06, my stop, I moved up to 23.05, which is basically $15 out of the way where my stop loss is, and 23.02.1 is where we shorted this Russell 2K Micro E-Mini. Look downstairs there, the bottom pane. See the green line going further below the red line? That's a good sign. That gives me some confidence in the trade. And I don't mind having my stop a little higher than I could put it right now. But you've got to give the, the trade uh, a chance to, to do its thing, to mature and see what happens. Well, i got just a moment here. Remember, hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this one. I, I count the likes and that helps me decide what the coming videos are going to be about. Also, remember, we're trading with one-tenth size contracts. So uh, we're $5 a point, and uh, when you trade with the E-minis or more, that would be like $50 a point for those. But it's good to learn on the small trades, and that's what we do here on the channel. And here I go again. I just moved my stop down to 2302.80. So that means I'm only at risk for 7 tenths of a point on the trade now. That's virtually free. That's $3.5 risk on this trade. It's trading at uh, 2297 down there. So I've got 3, 4, 5, about $25 up on the trade right now. Well, you know, I'm actually risking the $25 of unrealized profit I have. Did you see what I did there? I moved that stop down to 2302.1, the same as my entry price. I, I just, I'm a man obsessed with reducing risk. What can I say? Well, I'm going to save you from 12 more minutes of agony. It was uh, 14 minutes up in the trade here. I finally got stopped out at 2297 here. And I'm going to make about 25 bucks. Had that been the Russell 2K E-Mini instead of the Micro E-Mini, I would have made $250. See, that's how it works. You scale up later. But first, trade small, figure out you know what you're doing, build your confidence up. Well, it's a good trade. You know, $25 is not going to rock the bank or anything. But uh, we did make it in 14 minutes, so... You make $25 every 15 minutes, that's 100 an hour. That would be 
uh, pretty good pay for clicking a mouse and uh, watching a screen. And I do like this trading. It's so much fun. It's more fun. I love to go to Las Vegas. It's more fun than I've ever had in Las Vegas. And I can do it at home in my pajamas or anywhere I want to with a laptop. It's a lot of fun, believe me. Profit was $25. Maximum drawdown was only $5. Now, only $5 drawdown. Whenever you see your drawdowns when you're placing trades and you have very little drawdown, like this trade, for example, that means your trade selection is getting better. Now, when you, and it's always not your fault if you do have a big drawdown. I'm just saying that the more selective you are in your trades, uh, your average drawdown is going to be less. Maximum unrealized profit did get up to $40. I let it slip back $15 and captured $25 of it for about a 62.5% uh, capture rate there. If you want to see more videos like the one you saw today, hit the like button. I count the likes on the videos so I can tell what the most popular videos are. And that way I can keep bringing you, it's, it's a method of feedback. So I can bring you the best videos that, uh, that you believe you need to see. And that's why I'm here. Be sure and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss notification of all the new videos each week. The channel is supported by my book sales and, uh, Thousands and thousands of people have used it to learn to day trade the micro e-minis. I have almost 200 five-star reviews from the book, and I'm very pleased at that because that means it does the job that I intended it to do, to give you an organized A to Z checklist of things to learn in the right order so you can get them accurate. And it's hard when you're beginning to know which terms are important and which terms you may never hear again. And uh, reading the book gets you used to those things. It breaks you in and describes uh, leverage and all the details about the micro e-minis. It'll only set you back about the cost of a Chick-fil-A with waffle fries. And I hope you make many, many returns of what you spend on it on the book. If you haven't gotten it yet, check out the free CME Trade Simulation Program. There are links to it in the text right below this video. No credit cards, no ads, nothing like that. And uh, it looks very similar to the Tastyworks platform. And uh, the links to Tastyworks, the Trade Simulator, uh, the Beginner's Playlist, and a lot more are in the text below the video. So be sure and check that out. Had a great time today. I'm Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. Thank you.